today, we will be flying on Southwest, which, in my opinion, is one of the best airlines domestically. We are flying to Ohio today for a family trip, but counterintuitively, we are flying in the opposite direction to Houston for our connecting flight. Honestly, one of the main things connecting me to the US is just how widespread general aviation is. There's countless small airports scattered across the land. I think I counted like four just on the climb out. My sister could not understand how I could be so excited about just some little airports. I think it's cool though, so whatever. I'll be honest, a quarter of this video is probably just flying footage because the weather was absolutely heavenly, especially on the way out of Houston to Ohio. As we got closer to the coast, the clouds started to form into towering cumula- cumulo cloud? Cumulus clouds. Yes, I know what I'm talking about. Although it was a sign for things to come, the weather eventually became pretty scattered on the descent. Eventually we did land and because we got there early, we decided to explore the airport a bit and grab some coffee as well. While waiting in the coffee shop, I decided to take some notes on the trip. I told my sister at the time that I wanted this video to be a little practice run for our bigger trip overseas in the summer as well as just a new form of content for you guys. I was definitely very intimidated at first with editing down so much footage. Eventually we got onto our connecting flight, but our captain had gotten sick or something and could not complete the flight. So a real OG had to drive from his house to take the shift that added an hour delay to our flight. I came prepared though, with a charged phone and a very intriguing book. But while we waited, those cumulus clouds from earlier decided to form into cumulonimbus clouds. And the poor ramp rats got rained on. I feel really bad. Eventually, our surrogate pilot got on board and we were ready to taxi out. Luck would have it that the cumulonimbus clouds were quite intense right over the airport, so there was a conga line of aircraft behind us waiting. Alas, we were able to take off after 30 minutes or so. And let me tell you, this was one of the most beautiful flights I've ever been on. You could see the severe storm behind us as we left the airspace. I'm honestly so happy that I recorded this trip because, especially this flight, it was one of the best experiences listening to music and reading while looking outside and seeing practically heaven. The fun had to end eventually though, and we safely landed in Ohio. We had a hour trip ahead of us though to drive to our family's place. One note that I made on my phone is all capitals, Amish country. Seeing all the different buildings and architecture though was definitely a breath of fresh air from home. There was quite a bit of old infrastructure. My favorite thing though was this roof of giraffes. Eventually we got to where we were staying and promptly fell asleep. The very next morning I was formally greeted by of the household. The Oreo one wasn't too fond of me, but this fluffy gentleman loved cuddles and he definitely made it much easier to acclimate to a household full of relatives. I woke up 
woke up pretty early to get familiar with what birds and such were in Ohio. The dew that morning was especially beautiful as well. I ended up coming to the conclusion that we had similar bird life to home. My walk was cut short though when my favorite cousin noticed me and we reunited for the first time in like half a decade. She was about to walk Winter. Winter is a Great Pyrenees and sadly though she had a skin allergy to of food that she's been given so that explains like just the irritation on her belly and such when we got done with the walk i decided to take a moment to appreciate just how freaking cute this house was the inside of it as well was definitely uh you could tell old people were living in it with the creepy dolls and a grandfather clock The purpose of this trip was actually quite somber. It was a funeral service for my grandma. I obviously left out most of that, but I kept the memorial site in the video just due to the interesting architecture and history, I suppose. This was a massive resting spot for a lot of Civil War soldiers that would basically conclude our second day in Ohio, though. Third day in Ohio, we decided to go to Fort Ancient to hike off the trails and look at the museum and restoration sites from the indigenous that live and lived here. It wasn't long before I sacrificed my sneakers so my sister could walk the trail. She only had sandals. It wasn't actually too bad. It was kind of satisfying to walk semi-barefoot. My relatives were not impressed though. We found this caterpillar that was extremely fluffy. We named him Boogus because he looks like a Boogus. I did not want to touch him though because anything bright green like that equals danger. It was about a three mile walk and it was unlike anything we really have in Texas, at least from my knowledge. My area, I suppose. We were also treated by the sight of a little hummingbird grounding around for his food. It was so difficult to try and record him smoothly. <laughs> My hiatus on recording definitely uh, made it more difficult to record birds. Once we were done with the hiking, we drove up to the museum site. On the way, we found a little antique shop, and there was a cat outside, guarding it like a gargoyle. The cat was not impressed. There was a huge variety of, like, knickknacks and trinkets from <laughs> forever ago, honestly. Along with insanely old books, history books, biographies, etc, etc. I ended up buying a book about the 1920s, written in the 1930s. It smells like mold. I loved this charming little duck and his friends in the back. We also found this really weird coffee grinder, which it was really cute, but it probably a pain in the ass to clean. We paid for our books and promptly left. I'm surprised I didn't get any splinters because I was still kind of barefoot. This area honestly looks like out of a video game, like The Last of Us. Our giddy friend has returned and I got her to warm up to me. I sat down and she joined me. It's the best 
feeling when you like bond with a random animal I I don't even know now we are on our way to the museum portion of this area and when I say the roads were windy they were freaking windy kind of forgot how crazy the roads are up north I think if I was the one driving the excitement would turn to fear at that point don't know how I'm gonna survive Ireland <laughs> cuz I'm gonna be the one driving <laughs> so I decided to leave out majority of the museum visit because I feel like it deserves its own video I wouldn't want to show a lot of the things without properly talking about the history and talking to people who are more connected to it. I think the archaeologist and community who put up the museum did a pretty good job, though my sister pointed out that you could definitely tell it was from the perspective of the archaeologist. One of my favorite things, though, about these places is that they have live gardens of native plants and arrangements of how crops were grown by the specific communities. I love learning about this stuff because it can definitely help future generations on how to produce their own food and be self-sufficient. It took us about four hours to get through the whole area and read everything. The gardens were a very nice break. We finished off the night with coffee and a card game called a rug. Supposedly a relative created this game, but I'm not so sure. The next day was our last day in Ohio, but we decided to do one last thing on the way out. We went to the National Air Force Museum, and it was, I get excited thinking about it, it was amazing. This place I also think I'll make a separate video on just due to the sheer amount of history and footage and everything. They had real restored aircraft through the centuries, along with the engines and weapons that went with them outside of the airplane. It spanned from the 1930s all the way to modern times. The last hangar was for modern aircraft and experimental spy aircraft and spacecraft. It was just, I. I want to go back. I will go back to Ohio just to go back to this place. I had spent like half my time just in the first two hangars because we didn't realize there was more. There were like three more hangars. And um, I just want to point out, I remember seeing this one guy that had a shirt that said the definition of an engineer, one who gets excited about things that no one else cares about. And that stuck with me. I'm gonna get that shirt. But alas, I think this concludes this trip and video. We left very early morning after this in a hotel nearby. I would not mind living in Ohio for a couple months, like, at all. I'm serious. Even better yet, if I could get an internship at that museum, I'd be golden. I'd be excited to go to work. <laughs> but for this, for the end, I want to just thank all the subscribers that stuck around for my very, very, very long hiatus. I hope you guys love this style of video because I plan on doing many more. Just they take much, much longer. So I'm a bit worried.